Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Disney, we were kidding. Yep. We were kidding. Well, kind of. We knew they were going to do this. Disney is apparently going to do a, a holiday theming of the Galactic Star Cruiser. They're going to do so they're an thinking overlay. about it, which means they are They're gonna absolutely going to do it. Gonna do uh, 100%. It. Uh, we joked it might be Life Day from the holiday special. Well, of course they were. Of course they will, because it's a non-denominational Unless you're Wookiees. Yeah, you're Wookiees. Um, Disney has a problem where their Star Cruiser is a one and done type, you know, activity. Yeah. And we have said that. And we said that they're going to try to do some stuff now that bring people back. And we, this was one of the things we mentioned. Um, and there's also a concerted effort for Imagineers to be going out and telling the media, oh, no, no, you can come multiple times. You should just keep coming for $6,000 because there's lots of different storylines you, you can take. Yeah. So we're going to talk about all this, how, how Disney is going to get you to double dip, triple mm -hmm. dip. And Disney wants to keep you coming. Mm -hmm. Keep you coming back. They just want to keep you dipping. Keep you dipping. So you keep coming. Anyway, That's right. anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 262,000 subs. Yay. Thank you for the support. Today is going to be a very dismal Disney day. Uh, we have a lot yeah, we of... We thought we had two videos. It's going to be three. Uh, we've got three videos, all Disney related. And I don't know if this one's dismal so much as, yeah, we knew it. Called um, it. Called it. Completely called it. Uh, Imagineers apparently want to include the uh, Star Wars holidays in the Galactic Star Cruiser storytelling because, of course they do, because all the Disney cruise ships uh, yes. do a Christmas overlay. And this is basically considered like a cruise ship. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this, and then we're going to talk about how how they're going to keep you, keep you coming back. Keep you coming back to the Star Cruiser. Mm -hmm. We wondered about this because I'm like, you spend $6,000 you get the storyline with the Ray and the Kylo Ren. Whoopsie, what, whoopsie, I spoiled it. Uh, the Ray and Kylo Ren storyline. But then what? Like, if they were smart, they would do original trilogy or Mandalorian or something. I think that's the guy that was trying to harass me on Instagram. Is that the Instagram guy? I think guy? that's the Instagram guy. So, like, I made a joke about, you know, hell no, not paying that much for the Star Cruiser. And it was the day that it opened officially. And this person's like, well, did you go? It's like, well, a couple things. One, no, because it just opened. And uh, two, clearly not, because I think it's too expensive. And then got in fights with people in my comments, and I'm pretty sure it's that guy. Oh, God. Just, just This do, guy right here. Just do your job. If nobody's saying you're a bad actor. We're saying that Disney overcharges for what this is. Right. That's what we're saying. So we'll start with the, the, the holiday Life Day special that they're working on. Apparently, this came from Gizmodo. And they talk to Imagineers. And again, Imagineering is on the apology tour the trying apology. to basically explain why you need to come to the Star Cruiser. Now, people will argue, oh, my God, it's booked up in, yeah, April and May and, you know, part of June. Yes, it is. Because we said this is going to happen. We said that all the people that are super Star Wars fans, super Disney fans, the bloggers, the vloggers, are going to go in the first three months or so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so April, May, June blah, booked up. We start in July. Now we go into August and September and October and November and December. Yeah, see, nobody wants to go for Christmas, so we have to we have to bring them there for Christmas. Right. So, and surprise to no one, they're going to try to do this. So, yeah, Imagineering is now saying that that they're considering it. There is this long interview they have. With this Imagineer. Yeah, I think uh, WDW News Today condensed it down. Yeah, because it was, uh, it, they got it from Gizmodo. But you go ahead and. So here's the full interview. This is uh, Alex Lee. They just copy pasted the whole. Pretty much, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, there are people who have come to this project who are Star Wars fans, but aren't necessarily recruited because they're Star Wars fans. Um, they want to see who's passionate, basically who's going to pay. Right. Who's going to pay. Passionate means who's going to pay the Who's going to pay. I want to mention here, they're like, they want to come back and continue the story, which could prove tricky if they just come back to a Groundhog Day-ish rehash of the same events they've already played. We're still early on in the fan affinity level of who is coming, but we're actually seeing people who are playing so hard that that's actually the larger challenge and opportunity that we have. Basically, people are coming and yeah. they're already doing everything they can do, so how do right. you get them to come back? Because they're probably like, I'm getting my full money's worth. So then they're talking about this. 
Yeah, this isn't the first time I brought up to Lee how there are legions of fans who will show up to Galaxy's Edge on Life Day, the Wookiee celebrated festivity from the Star Wars Holiday Special, dressed in ceremonial red robes like Chewbacca and his family, uh, not just to cosplay, but to take part in a special gathering with friends along with makeshift glowing orbs to ring in the season. Clearly, Imagineering has been aware of this tradition. Uh, yeah, they just did the Lego you know, Disney yeah. just did the Lego uh, holiday special. In terms of the opportunities that we have for stories and events within Star Wars, it's definitely something that has been discussed and something that the franchise is very interested yes, in. Yes, I'm sure they're very interested in it because, look, no one's coming. Nobody's coming. So I'm sure they're very interested in it. Uh, last year, Disney Parks softly integrated Life Day-themed foods and licensed orbs among oh, yeah, the its Galaxy's experience Edge, yeah. offerings. Uh, so when it comes to in-world events, I asked if something like Life Day could uh, work its way in the seasonal stories aboard the Star Cruiser. Lee revealed to us, I think we're going to start to see things happening organically as we begin to get closer to Life Day. And then they asked for spooky excursions aboard the, aboard the haunted ship because the cruise lines always do a Halloween event yep. and they always do a Christmas one. Well, okay, so they also do Pirate Day, too. So are they going to have Space Pirates? There you go. I mean, and how are you going to integrate all that? Because you, you, you'd have to do it for like a month or something. You couldn't just do it for a day. No, no, you'd have to do it for like a month. Like October is um, Sithoween. Sithoween, yeah, they'll probably uh, do something like that. that you know, Palpatine's, uh, ghost will, <laughs> Palpatine's ghost will haunt your ass. That's right, right, you um, know. Um, it, you know, it, it's just funny to me because now they're trying to, to pull these out, but we figured they would because they do consider this like a, a cruise experience. And um, they did have Star Wars Day at Sea, which I think they got rid of, and now they're doing Pixar Day at Sea. And I think it's because they're considering this their Star Wars, like cruise experience. Yeah, they're they're viewing this as basically a cruise ship. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's how they're treating it. So they're they're probably looking at this as like, well, this is the Star Wars cruise ship. So all the Star Wars stuff goes here because they're probably thinking. You know, five thousand dollars. You can have a nice cruise, and you can have Star Wars on that cruise, and you're not going to go into the Star Cruiser. So we don't want to divide our audience. So send all the Star Wars people to, to the, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you get a lot more money too, and they yep. don't have to actually leave and go anywhere. Right, right. So um, they are not confirming they're doing this yet. They keep going back to the well. We're early on and just open. We're not sure where it's going to go. So I don't expect anything like this for this year, really, um, unless they're really hard up for uh, people coming by the end of the summer, then they might announce they're doing this. Uh, they're, yeah, they're going to look at the money. Um, you know, they're going to look at uh, where they're at the end of the fiscal year, and then they'll decide, and also whether or not Bob Chapek will let them spend the money mm -hmm. to buy some red robes. <laughs> yeah, and do that. Oh, so. so, I mean, it has not formally been announced. It's something they're considering. I fully expect them to do this. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how long it's going to take. And then there's also the rumors that if it doesn't do well as a hotel, they might make it day excursions and things like that. And they, you know, I'm sure they do it for that for sure because then they get you know, people coming in just to go to the Life Day experience. Yeah. Either they don't stay aboard the, the, the Star Cruiser well, they could they could do like Monday through Friday. We have day trips, and then weekends we do the right. Whole like they, we're taking the, the shuttle. Those who pay an extra two hundred dollars a person can shuttle over to the yeah. Star Cruiser to participate in our you know in our dining areas and our open areas um, for these special. And there's gonna be special uh, Life Day fireworks and Life Day screens. Sit on Chewbacca's lap. You're gonna like overlook. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know right? Like dress Tell Chewbacca what you want. Tell Chewbacca. Um, and then Good Star Wars, Disney. Good Star and, Wars. And they're going to probably have like all the screens be like, you're, you know, there'll be Wookiees and you'll be in Kashyyyk and you'll be in the trees. <laughs> it's snowing in space. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's snowing. snowing in space. And they're all singing a Happy Life Day song. And you know they're going to do this because Disney is desperate to try to get people to come to the Star Cruiser. Yeah. Uh, and again, people are going to be like, well, they're booked up right now. Yes. And we said from the beginning they would be. Yeah. First couple of months, absolutely. Everybody who wants to do it is going to do it in the first couple of months. And then after that, that, that's you know what's going to determine whether or not this thing has been successful. But now we have the uh, Imagineers on the Apology Tour. Yeah. And basically what they're doing is they're trying to go around to places and be like, here's why you, you can come back again and again and again. Because we said mm -hmm. this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. People are going to be like $6,000 is a one and done activity. Yeah. And they're trying to argue that no, no, no. If you come back, you can do different things. Mm -hmm. So... Apparently, they went to the game the game developers conference in San Francisco. They had a panel, starting with the ending narrative design of Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, and they're talking about the narrative progressions and the different adventures you can have. I'll let you take it because I keep talking. 
The event description reads, join two Walt Disney Imagineers as we upend narrative design strategies to create compelling, impactful conclusions to each guest's stories developed for the multi-day immersive adventure. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Basically, it's join two Imagineers as they try to explain to you why there's, the, you know, justify why you should return again and again because we claim there's different narratives. Uh, this this sounds to me like it's a choose your own adventure book, but all the pages lead to the same ending. Yeah. You get the showdown with and Ray every and and all the pages are really expensive, and if you want to you want to take a different you know you want to ch change your adventure you have to pay six thousand dollars again. All roads lead to bankruptcy. And that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, pretty much yeah, it. That's, that's basically it. Um, so yeah, they're they're trying. I mean, look if if you didn't think this was a a video game, you know before, very obvious. I mean, the way they break it down, like here are the different paths that you can. Yeah, take. but if you have a video game, you can just start the game again and try a different path. You don't have to buy the game all over again. Mm -hmm. so yeah, there right. as a three act play. Three act, which play. we know. Passenger choices impacting the structure and storyline of your custom performance. Even though it seems weird though, because when you see the media, they all had the same experiences. So where was it? Where was it differing for them? Oh, look here! Here, here are the journeys. You all start out the same, but then your resistance, smuggler, the force, heist, first order, or rom com. Wait, the rom com. Rom com, and then you wind up as a hero. Always, I, I want to be a Sith and just wreck shit. Like I just want, I just want to just choke, choke everybody on the ship. Um, there you go. <laughs> that was really out of there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I do that? Why can't I join the? Why can't I join the Sith? Um, above, you can see the multi-day connected RPG, where guests' personal stories unfold through physical exploration. <laughs> whoa, 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 the rom com. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think you might want to have worded that a little bit differently. Physical exploration. Physical exp exploration next to responsive environments. And responsive. interactions with live performance. This could go a completely different direction depending on how you take this. Use the force to jiggle those rocks. Basically, yeah. that's the responsive environment. But, you know, it sounds pretty bad when they word it this way. Uh, during Jig a, So it's jiggling the rocks. I guess. Yeah, yes. Sorry, that went over my head. Sorry. During a visit. You said head. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, during a visit, a guest can make decisions about what side of the adventure they want to be on as evidenced by the narrative slide above. As evidenced, okay. Um, so, okay, this is the narrative slide. Can we even see it? So here's the different people, like Batu Lounge, Bridge, Atrium. I can't read them all from this. Oh, I'm, oh, wait, is there a screen in front of me? Room, yeah, trading, trading pod. pod. Um, and then they have like Arrival, Muster, uh, I can't even read these. Something did. Oh, the dinner, the program, the planet visit, which everybody has the same thing, no matter what way you choose. So basically, you're trying to argue that depending on what you do with the these different things, it's going to be like if you're picking the Empire, or like, I'm sorry, the, the Resistance or yeah. the uh, First Order, should have been Empire and Rebellion. And then whether you're going to be a smuggler or you want to be in a rom-com, I, 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 <laughs> I'm just like... Um, no, they're trying to justify coming back. They're like, oh, right. yeah, it's it's like the world's most expensive video game. $6,000. From what I'm seeing is people seem to be having similar experiences. They're not yeah. like getting all these different. It's all, and this is all after the fact. This came, this, this presentation came out after they had already had all the media in there and after it's been going on for a while. So I'm like, are they just like now trying to like make up shit yes. after the fact? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I think this whole thing, like, I think, you know, you want to talk apology tour. I think in 20 years, there's going to be an apology tour for Batu because I think this whole thing, Galaxy's Edge, would have been way more successful as an original trilogy, you know, experience. Except, uh, yeah, because I think, you know, Star Wars fans in general, most everybody, you know, knows the original trilogy. Yeah, everybody loves the original trilogy. It's it's timeless, and and the whole purpose of creating a Star Wars land was to compete directly with Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. You know, is one to one with the movies. It gives the fans what they want and what they know. Yeah, and this is like just this is this is fan fiction. This is billion dollar fan fiction. Yeah, pretty much. They you know, they would have been uh, better off with something people you know it resonates with people when they relate to them. Their thought process was we're gonna make up a new planet so you can make your own stories and you aren't hindered by lore. And it's like, but people wanted the lore and they wanted places they knew. Yeah. So. But yeah, so anyway, that's just about, you know, hey, here, book a trip. Book a but, trip, everybody. Um, book a trip. 
it was funny to me because they're they're doing this big thing where they're now trying to go back out. And I've seen a couple different other interviews with Imagineers and they're trying to make a case for why you should re come back again and again and again. Oh, he's trying to come. It's a different story for another $6,000. And it's just like, who's going to keep coming back again and again and paying $6,000 each time? Plus. Yeah, I, I think this thing is going to burn out within a year. I think um, they're going to have to rethink it. Uh, I think the structure is, is you know, the building itself, you know, they can use it for a bunch of different things, just do dinners or whatever. And mm -hmm. it might just be that the warping experience becomes a, you know, just weekends once a week. only. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I could, I could see that happening. And I do think if they put Life Day or like, you know, Haunted something in, you know, that you might get people to come back for that. I, I think they will. But they're only going to come back once again. And you might get another trip out of these people. So that's when you get you get shirtless Kylo Ren showing up in your room in the middle of the night. It's, it's <laughs> yes. during Sith Ween. Palpatine's ghost is in the mirror trying to lure you. You know, no, people, you know, I was going to say, I thought you were going to say shirtless Kylo Ren was an upcharge. Yeah, he's an upcharge. That's one of the, you know, the, the, expense, yeah. the more expensive cabins. You, it comes with your own shirtless Kylo Ren. Yeah, but at three o'clock in the morning, he wakes you up, you know, yeah, with his shirt off and. Yeah, yeah I know. That's a you. completely different experience, and I'm sure it costs a lot more money. You know, tell your husband you had no choice. He was playing mind tricks on That's you. That's right. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> yes. All right. Maybe he has to tell his wife that he had no choice. There you go. Because Kylo Ren, hey, I'm not going to judge. Oh my God, it's going to be like the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but with Kylo Ren. Or maybe they had to tell their kids they had no choice, and they just were both involved. The kids? No, no, no. They have to tell their kids. I mean, I know there's choice. some weird shit going on at <laughs> Disney, but what? No, All right. I wasn't putting the kids in that. Never mind. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. <laughs> Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. You know, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh she it. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. Or is it bootleg? Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>